Welcome to Mixdown. Today we're going to show you a few different recording setups for bass guitar. We're going to keep working on the track from the first episode. As always, we are recording preamp to Pro Tools. Let's get started. Now let's record some bass. Um, the bass process is relatively easy, and we're going to make it a little bit more complicated. <laughs> this, this is a Fender Precision, the loveliest bass ever made. We're going to run this into a radial passive DI box. That's going to be most of our signal. But in order to get a little bit more girth and a little fuzzier oomph or well-rounded bottom end, we're also going to run it through this Ampeg B15 Portaflex, which is an older and highly sought after studio amp. So tell us a little bit about this mic now. Isn't that the same mic that we used in the kick drum earlier? Yeah, and it's, it's good sometimes to do that to keep a, a cohesive nature to your kick drum and your bass guitar. It's the Audix D6 is what we're using. Show us how that sounds, Bruce. Uh, next, we'll try the Sennheiser 421 that is a little bit more expensive than the Audix D6, but still a fairly common mic. And now we're going to try a little bit of an experiment with the Yamaha Subkick. I've never actually tried this in the studio before, so let's, let's see how this speaker records the speaker. The last mic we're going to try out is really the crown jewel of mics. It's the Neumann U47. And you've got it a little bit farther away from the speaker, I notice. I do have it a little bit farther away. This mic is a very sensitive mic, and so having it up, you know, you can have it right up against the grill for the bass, but it's probably going to get very, very distorted on you. All right. All right, now here we are in the control room. We're gonna listen back to the bass sounds. We know that we're gonna use the DI signal, so we wanna to listen to the rest of the mics uh, layered in with the DI and see which one we prefer. All right, first we're gonna have the D6. It's good. Next we'll have the 421. Really mid-rangey. Very mid-rangey, definitely. And then here's the sub kick, which turned out real nice. Sounds like it's going through an amp. Yeah, 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 it really does. I, I was surprised with the clarity that we got from it. And then we'll check out the U47. This sounds good. Sounds good. All right, well, between all of those, I, I like the D6 and the Subkick the best. I, I have to agree, they, the D6 has some real girth, but the Subkick was really nice. It, it had a real natural sound, really sounded like the bass. Let's use that one. Right on. 